It's now day five, early morning in Bangladesh, and the search and rescue operation is still very much on. Uh, there's still, rescue workers are still going through the debris, debris, trying to pull out as many survivors as they can. It's really a race against time now, because normally after 72 hours, it becomes very difficult to pull out anyone or find people still alive. But uh, there have been some uh, joyful, miraculous moments as well. Just on Sunday, they were able to pull out four people alive. Now, rescue workers have been using smaller equipment like hand drills mostly to go through that rubble. They were supposed to have uh, brought in cranes and uh, heavier equipment to go through that rubble as well over the weekend uh, as the mission changed from uh, finding the living to recovering the dead. But because of those miraculous discoveries, they've decided to postpone that for now. Now at the building collapse site, there's a huge uh, group of people. Most of them are family members still looking for their missing loved ones. They're carrying photographs of their missing loved ones. They say they can still hear people uh, crying for help from underneath that rubble. This was about 12 hours ago, uh, and the rescue workers have been passing water and food and oxygen cylinders down, but just not able to pull them all out. Andrew, scenes of complete desperation still. Uh, I, 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 can, I can imagine. Samia, do we know how many people, or what, what do the authorities say about how many people still may be in that collapsed building? Well, the rescue workers say there's about 600 people still unaccounted for. Uh, the death toll currently stands at 378, and 2,400 people have already been pulled out alive. A lot of them are badly injured. And the building owner has now been arrested, apparently trying to escape from Bangladesh into India. That's right. He was found on the border, actually, of Bangladesh and India. This is the building owner. Uh, he faces charges of uh, negligence and uh, perhaps something, uh, perhaps murder as well. We're not sure about that yet. He is due to appear in court within the next 24 hours. Five others have also been arrested, three factory owners and two of the engineers as well.